I would term myself as an artist. Although my work does explore science technology, I've got a very limited background in science. My work sits on the edge of speculative design as well. I, I really enjoy merging these fields of art, design, um, bringing in technology and science. My training was in fine art sculpture. It was in Leeds, in the north of England. After sculpture, I trained at the Royal College of Art, and that was in uh, design interactions. I've always had that interest in science and technology, and particularly how it shows us new things about the world and how how something can be discovered and it completely blows an idea out of the water. I, I really enjoy the speculation and exploration. I work quite collaboratively, talking a lot with scientists and technology developers. As an artist that gives you so much scope, you can have so much freedom and then it's that your reflection on what, what you learn. I find that, that really exciting too. In the background of my work and what we see in my, my pieces, there's tons and tons of ideas and um, a lot of reading and research and talking to a lot of people. It just doesn't come from just one, perhaps, science or scientist or a discovery. I see it as a, a, a giant melting pot, and I think that's where it's really exciting, where perhaps a piece is talking about nanotechnology, but uh, applying it to a wider social situation or uh, where it crosses with religion or a belief structure or a, a particular cultural background. Science works in some ways in isolation, it's in that reductionist kind of way. So for me it's really interesting when it all comes together in, in quite a complex scenario and I think that's what I enjoy, like the ecology of an idea or and where all these things start colliding together.